someone brought this to my idea last night. And you know what? I don't want to say someone. I want to actually say like who it was. Hold on one second, guys. Let me find out exactly who that was because I don't want to. I don't want to say like, you know, all right, I believe it's Ronnie, Ronnie Ochoa. Let me see. Yeah, it's Ronnie Ochoa. So he said, uh, got Ronnie Ochoa on Twitter. He said, seems like the Sermon and Banks pick were tailor-made for the transition into in the offense once Lance takes over. A lot of fans are prejudging the picks before we see what they can do. All right. Now, what does he mean by that? What does he mean by uh, you know, Sermon and Banks pick were tailor-made for the transition in the offense? Right. And what I think about that is it's were those guys drafted for a more power scheme, right? Because I've talked about it. And if you guys listen to Locked On 49ers, which I'm pretty sure a lot of you do, except for the Odell Bell guy, he's probably a, a Cleveland Browns fan. But I'm pretty sure a lot of you, you know, listen and heard me talk about Aaron Banks. And when I'm watching Aaron Banks, I'm like, that's a that's a power scheme guy, right? Like Aaron Banks is a guy that the Pittsburgh Steelers would draft, you know, like in the stretch zone uh, movement type stuff that they were going to ask him to do. Like he didn't do that stuff well at Notre Dame. And it's crazy because they were telling us that he, yeah, he's a bigger guy. Cause he's, when you just look at his height, weight and all that, he's much bigger than what the 49ers have had, but they're like, no, but he's super athletic. And I'm watching the film and I'm like, maybe I'm watching the wrong film. And I've watched about four games but this was not a guy that showed any high level of athleticism. Uh, when he was asked to pull, he would pull most of the time. If he didn't reach where he was trying to get to, he would just like fall on the ground. It was really weird. Like, and I was like, what do they like about him? Now, I would say this. Power, if a guy is right in front of him, he has to block the guy in front of him. Oh, man. I mean, he was, boom, he was a big wall. And it was easy for him. So you could see his fit in a power offense, right? A power scheme, being able to just blow the guy off the ball that's right in front of him. But anytime he's asked to move, and I just watched some clips of uh, Elijah Mitchell. And Elijah Mitchell, everybody's moving, right? It's like, you got one guy, he's moving on the reach block. You got another guy, you got uh, the Dancing Bear and and uh, Williams, Trent Williams, getting out on the edge. You got Brandon Ayuk blocking 20 yards downfield. I love it, I love it, I love it. It looked pretty. When the 49ers do it right, it's beautiful. But... Uh, you're watching how these offensive linemen have to move, how they have to play in space. And then you watch Banks and you're like, that ain't Banks. Banks is a, okay, this is the guy right here. Boom. I'm firing off. I'm getting him. Okay. Okay. You're not going to do a stunt. Great. You play right into my hands. Boom. Not getting around me. I'm a big ass wall. And then you see Trey Sermon. And I think a lot of people are thinking like, oh, Trey Sermon, he runs with a little, a little too much patience, right? Like Trey Sermon, you're running with a little bit too much patience, a little bit bouncing around. Who's that remind you of? Kind of a Le'Veon Bill. Now, I'm not saying he's Le'Veon Bill, but just kind of that, like, you know, trying to pick and choose when, when it's like, no, you, this is one cut offense. You got to put that foot in the ground and go. And he's not doing that, right? So Ochoa over here had a great question, Ronnie Ochoa. And he's like, is this, was this supposed to be more of a power scheme offense with Trey Lance? And we've seen Trey Lance. If you notice, what game was it? Was it Arizona? Was it Arizona when he ran in the two point? No, it was preseason. When was it? Anyways, I don't remember exactly when it was. I believe it was preseason where he took the uh, like read option and went straight up the middle or whatever. And that's more power stuff, right? And I really feel like maybe they drafted Trey Sermon. Maybe they drafted Banks to play in a different style of the offense, a more power scheme. And definitely, they're not. They're not. They're not doing that. So that's just something to think about. Lance, Sermon, Banks. Does Lance determine the does Lance determine the faith of Sermon and Banks? I think that's a possibility. Because right now it's not making sense. 